Blancat Metalworks at the June uh, 12, 2016. And um, today um, I'm going to test this um, belay. It's um, 52100. It's 1A of an inch thick. And it's a really high grind, so that it's fairly thin, but however, the behind the edge thickness is about 20,000. And the sharpening angle is about 15 degrees per side. I freehanded it, so therefore, I did you the caliper and measured the thickness and the length of the, uh, the bevel, and then you can use uh, a tangent calculation and to figure out the angle. Or you can see how much offset I got from the stone. And this video could be long and boring. And when people talk about edge stability of a blade, I mean, what doesn't matter what steel it is. I mean, if the blade too hard, I mean, the, the conventional wisdom is when it's too hard, it's brittle. Too soft, then, you know, it's, uh, it, it's more ductile. And when you hit something hard, and you have a thin edge, I mean sharp, when you have really sharp, I mean the apex get really sharp, therefore really thin. So if you put lateral force on anything that thin, it will, you know, if it really hard, it would chip. And if it, it really ductile or soft or something, and they, they call it tough, but actually, you know, certain ductility able to give. It will give before you exceed the ultimate tensor strength of the material, then the fracture happens. But if you have aluminum, then you can actually keep bending because the displacement or the ductility, they keep rolling for a long while unless you, you know, pull back and forth until work hard on it and you know, weaken the, the hinge or where the, the uh, metal transition back and forth. And so when you have an edge and you start out, I sharpen this one at about 2,000 grit water stone, um, it's going to be the edge display is subject to fairly hard test. So that's why you have this geometry. Say a pocket knife can have this much geometry. So therefore, they probably go to you know, hard too, but it should, it won't, will not go to impact. So if you have a and I can just yeah, that kind of okay. So it. Some area of cut, but I mean it mainly it slice, slide and have a little better you know, uh, a little thing on the it's not super clean because I tested before so they have a little uh, damage along the edge a little bit. And so anyway, so that's what the uh, starting edge looks like and I put marker along the edge here so that I know where my impact is. And so, go back to the edge stability. And they talk about high carbine and, you know, we make it so they lose the edge quickly. You know, this, I mean, this will shave all right, but, you know, it probably it will cut hair, but it will not be comfortable face of shaving. And for me, when refer to edge stability, I always test out, I go on to this sequence. And uh, I go from, when I got an edge, actually I got one more, hold on, here we go. This is uh, yeah, bamboo. And early on when I doing this, um, you know, with a bamboo, um, is, um, Actually, and then after that, if you have the edge to see, see the marker come up right there, so I know, you know where I'm working on there. I mean, this is nothing to the edge, and this is an Australian bullock, which is supposed to be the world hardest wood. And I have it, so I widow it, and and uh, let me put on the left hand glove. Uh, I think the spine of this thing is not that comfortable. And after a little bit, then I'm kind of, and I feel it to see, okay, did it roll over or not? And so, and I go, I got this sequence here, even to test any edge. 
think of like a poacher and say, are you alive kind of deal. So when the edge is alive, but most you know, people don't have a piece of this African black wood. I find out that, I find out with this piece of wood alone, Nike should be able to test most of them. You know, if you name not a regular people and you have an edge and if you whittle this thing, it will tell you how strong and how stable your edge really is. You don't need, if the heat treat is soft or burn edge from grinding, then like that, then you, when you, after that, you can either chip, if it's brittle, then it chip, and if it's soft, then it's raw, and you can feel it. But so that is African black wood. And this is a common nail, uh, 16D, and um, I widowed this too. I got a lot of mark on here already, but you know, I just go to and I widow this. You can see the uh, shaving. Well, it, I wish it's longer so I can, um, maybe I should bite it longer like next time. And you can say, okay, did I, it did mess up. So you can test this thing with its, um, and this is uh, its test, and this is, I can see the hardest to test because this is just a simple, not much, it's just a, a beef um, rib bone. And the bone, when you test it, I mean, I widow all around it, outside it's actually it's hard and tough. It's a more tough. It, inside it's just dense, it's just hard. And on the edge here, you then you end up with the marrow and the edge. So they also give a lot of, uh, of uh, lateral because as you widow it, the bone, a lot of, sometimes they widow clean, also it's sometimes shatter. They put a lot of pressure on your sharp apex here on the edge. So I just start out um, widow the uh, bone. And that is the outside, and then I go from the edge. And so you can see it explode out a little bit. Door really hard on your edge. And then it, this is the inside. And you can see the breathing, it, it kind of like that. It kind of explode out that hard. And then you usually have a lube. And you can actually look into the edge and see, did I damage it? Did there a microchip or roll? And so, let the, sometimes that the cutting test will help you. And I think there was a little pre, uh, you know, before the test, there a little hang up here before, but I'm, I'm with it right here. So, your test is right there. I think out of video I mentioned before, a lot of times you can just start here and end way over here. It's irrelevant because you really only you use this area, you should only test that area alone. So I can enter the, the, uh, the uh, paper in the unaffected area and I'm going to ro cut right through that area. So that I think what you like on the internet, you see a lot of the video and a lot of fast cutting, which I don't like. And I'm going to just go do two, two. And I just went past that. And it didn't catch. If they are a roll and they will hook catch the paper or if the chip they will catch on the edge and tear it off. So therefore at stability wise if it's the edge in this case if it's softer than in this case test the OD thing if it's softer than 62 it will subject to roll. Even at 62 and it's not stable and not strong and tough enough, it would chip. But it went through O3, no problem. So I'm going to go to chopping test. I try to talk slow and match this video it's for myself as well as a document as I work in he treat uh, and get to get toward production or sell my blade. So, if you have a
chopping or oh, more like say martial arts, martial art, you know, to break a brick. The penetration, the force going through, the rebounds, it's all more like the Newtonian, you know, equal and opposite. If you have rebounds, it's really hard on your edge. That will, and for this thin blade and hit something hard and then rebounds, it worries then on the edge than if you have a big heavy chopper and a penetration continue. When you put, get penetrated really deep, then you have steering and that's very destructive. That's a different physics. So I'm not going to that. But most of the time when you chop into hard surface. But first, uh, in this case, just let's get something in the bag. It's Douglas fir, 2 by 4 dry. Well, I bought it like a year and a half ago or something like that. So. And get make a few chop. And also people, for me, I mean, I'm not criticizing anybody else, but I guess for me, I guess we've got to chop us. As I can, otherwise, you baby the edge, it's supposed to work for you. It's a tool. So, and then that was, and then this is, uh, looks like they got in the bag, is a piece of oak board here. And with this one looks gnarly over here. Sometimes you don't like to have inclusion, like uh, sand or something in it. Without a handle, whew, it hurts. But so that. Uh, it's a piece of oak board and okay, it feels uh, smooth. I warn you, it's slow and boring. This is pine and it's twisty. Here the core, and I guess I was looking at this case. Hit this thing. Oh, I hit with the spine there. This is, would be a knot there, and a knot is no fun. So I'm going to uh, Okay. <laughs> well, I better not wear myself too much. Okay, so that was um, pine knot. Oh wait, uh, I have a piece of this is olive. And olive is really hard, especially when it's dry, been dry for two and a half years. At one point I just thought I was going to make a knife handle out of this. But I bought a bunch of wood so I don't need it. Okay, well. Three chop good enough. I guess uh, the camera probably pick up. I'm breathing hard. Okay. Oh yeah, all that chop I should test paper cut in here. I got some printer paper too and see when it degrade down to um, no longer cut this, so I, you can see the area here, the impact area, and I'm going to enter it, I'm going to this side enter easier, I'm going to enter back here, okay, and I'm going to go to, okay, I exit the point, I'm sure if you look at into the magnifying, 
there's a married uh, here. I mean, the, the previous, I mean, the chip before the test was uh, somewhere around right here. But anyway, it's fairly smooth. And also, when you cut paper, try to do at 90 degree angle as much as possible. But as soon as you cut at 45 here like this, that means you yet increase the thickness, effective the thickness of cutting the paper. So therefore, you're not really cutting thin paper. You, you cut something maybe 50% thicker. So, uh, yeah. I pay, for me, I pay attention to those little thing like that because uh, it would tell me the objective of testing is to tell me the damage level and what this edge can sustain. Not you try to pass the test and impress. Where well, I was impressed early on, maybe I would, I would try to impress myself, but now I'm hard to impress. Anyway, so this would be okay. I got the bone here, and uh, I got a. I see. I put bag, and this is the bone that is frozen. So, the same as the one I was with before. This end here have more marrow, but also, but this spine right here is very hard. So, because frozen, okay, check. It's still frozen. So, I know that frozen is make the bone harder and brittle, and it probably will do some damage. I guess until you uh, get some damage, and then the extent of the damage, and you, then at that point you can access the edge or the blade capability until you get in. Otherwise, you keep on passing, yeah, it's cool, but, but not as useful. So I'm going to chop on the soft part. This is the soft one. Well, my, uh, the uh, finger that I can afford to mess up. Okay, so with that, and now I'm going to go for the harder part and down here. And right there. Excuse me. That is the one connect to the spine, and this is the extended out part, and this is the harder part one. And uh, we'll see how this does. You can see it's sad. I will save this little guy. All right, all right. Let me look and let me try to clean up the edge and see what the damage is. Oh yeah, clean this way easy to get cut right into your finger, but I guess I've been doing it so much. <laughs> You're getting good at it, even though it look bad. Okay, I see a little light reflection. Maybe you can see it. Or maybe not. Uh, okay, that wasn't it. Maybe it was it dirt. Oh, I see right something right about right the uh, tiny bit. If I have tough time see with my without a camera, okay, I'm going to hopefully you're going to see it. It. Let's see where is it now again. It's somewhere right here. Oh, right here. Right here. Right. Right here. Okay. Anyway, let me slice. From book paper. It's right here. So I'm going to cut from here to here again. 
slowly and third well that outside now is done so there is a little blonde but it looks like it's just because you saw it so therefore it goes through this thing and if I break it fast it again sometimes it's just like oh wow you know, oh I hear something there actually fast I can hear something yeah yeah maybe when did it catch definitely there is a something right here from the bone okay well I consider that as a success and there was a tiny damage that I can hardly really difficult to see it's um I, I got a little chip before because I was hacking I was hacking it before this video because they don't have enough mass to go right to clean through this so let me put on glove I'm going to subject with some chopping pretend a piece of wood and we'll chop down on it Okay, how about Bowsy Chop? Okay, let's take a look, clean it up. Okay, there is some African black wood. Let me go through and because there's some damage. Yeah, let me you can hear the uh, yeah there you go that is the uh, sound of the damage and you can probably see it a lot clearer now let me clean this side of it There are a lot of stuff get on the edge. Uh, look like the two big things right here. But I don't think that is the chip all the way down there. That looks like the, uh, I think there is a little chip or a little damage right there. It, they look black, but uh, the depth is much shallower than that. Uh, Right there, you see. You see that at the height. That is at the the depth of that chip. It then this piece of wood against it. See so you go. Boom! It's top. Right there. Same thing here. Right there. So it's relative to the bell wall. This is a very shallow uh, damage from uh, going crazy at it. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, please uh, comment, and, uh, oh, forget to mention what the hardness of this uh, blade is. Is, uh, you know, well, before, even more I'm saying, if you pass a lot of the tests, have to be really hard. And so, obviously, this is above 62, because they both would stand a lot of serious um, impact on a very thin edge. So, anyway the uh, rock well of this uh, blade is where's the dimple right there and I got some more in here and I I think I grind some off it's 64 and a half so it would be harder than uh, uh, most Japanese chef knife well again thanks again bye